Hi, for today's technical demonstration, we are going to dive into an overview of the VMware Carbon Black Next Gen Antivirus. Let's sign it. I would like to note I'm going to walk through a console with only endpoint standard module enabled. Other modules can be added easily afterwards, only with a new license. No need to reinstall, our platform grows and scales with you as your needs evolve. Carbon Black modules are Endpoint standards, the next gen antivirus, audit and remediation, allows admins to gather current state information across software, hardware, and network variables at scale across your environment, leveraging OS query schema, cloud workload protection, add lifecycle management, inventory and vulnerability management in both vCenter and Carbon Black Console. Container security, protect Kubernetes in the same console. Enterprise EDR, endpoint detection and response, enables advanced threat hunting with out-of-the-box watchlist curated by Carbon Black threat experts and third parties like MITRE, as well as capabilities for creating and tracking customized indicators of compromise, IOCs. Extended data retention, to extend event retention from 30 days to up to six months, manage detection and response. Our world-class team of security experts monitors threats and provides rapid response along with threat containment during an incident and policy recommendations to remediate threats. And finally, vulnerability management to assess all vulnerabilities of your endpoints and workloads. Now, from a high-level perspective, Endpoint Standard is our next-gen antivirus. And our next-gen antivirus, Endpoint Standard, delivers future-ready protection for endpoints and workloads that adapt to your unique environment and the evolving threat landscape. To use Endpoint Standard, you have seen, you just have to log into our portal. This is a cloud-hosted solution, so no additional infrastructure is required. So this solution is available in US, in US public cloud or Gov cloud for FedRAMP, in Europe, if in Germany or UK. Solution is fully GDPR compliant. It's also available in Japan and Australia. Just one word about VMware Carbon Black Cloud on AWS Gov Cloud in US. Public sector customers can meet federal compliant demands and deploy modern endpoint security required to face complex attacks. The platform enables government agencies to prevent, detect, and respond to threats from a single console for improved visibility and simplified operation. The FedRAMP authorization is one of the most rigorous compliance standards in the world, and VMware Carbon Black is proud to be authorized at the high impact level. So after login, you will be brought to our dashboard view. You can see this uh, dashboard. Uh, so we will wrap up the different prevention activities that have taken place, as well as highlighting different trends resulting in these alerts here. So we can start to highlight anomalies that are occurring within our organization. All of this is exportable to a PDF. PDF export or CSV, so we can start to promote and provide reporting capabilities for you and your administrators to bring to the C-level executives as well. While that is downloading, uh, the report here, we can see that it downloads locally into my system. What we want to dig into is, with this data, how do we start to understand what type of malware we are preventing, what type of activity we are identifying as suspicious. Now let's go to alerts. It's here. A single source of truth that provides an intuitive understanding of your environment for confident decisions. Faster time to resolution, high fidelity alerts with definitive context to accelerate investigation and response. So here we will focus on my device, malware 4, and this will roll up underneath alert. Now it's important to note with alerts, you can be notified in a multitude different of ways. 
So we have email, we have source, SIM, Splunk, IBM, Curadar, or any syslog compatible SIM. So it's here in API. And more recently, we have added a two-ways integration with ServiceNow, integrating telemetry and response action from the Carbon Black Cloud into ServiceNow, streamline security processes by providing built-in endpoint context and response actions within a single pane of glass. With full incident management capabilities and long-term record keeping, security teams leveraging the Carbon Black Cloud apps for ServiceNow can streamline coordination within the SOC during incidents and reduce friction within their team. So we have an automated ticket creation and lifecycle management. We can ingest and manage Carbon Black Cloud alerts within ServiceNow. We can automatically ingest CBC alerts and other inputs into ServiceNow. We can populate ServiceNow tickets with data from Carbon Black Cloud. We can sync updates across both consoles when tasks are changed or completed. The value for you, for your customer, is you, are, you can reduce manual data correlation. You can streamline handoffs between different teams, simplify tracking between systems. Now, in the alert panels, we will start to score these alerts based on the, an overall threshold or a severity score. So we can filter here, and you can see that our severity score is on a scale of 1 to 10. 10 being the most malicious. Now, when we talk about endpoint standard and the prevention capabilities that are delivered with this, I always like to think about this in the concept of layers. The first layer is antivirus that scans the file system and deletes known malware using a local signature database. We provide a signature mirror that you can configure here. Signature mirror server to reduce your bandwidth usage if you have a lot of endpoints and a limited bandwidth. Now, this is only the first layer. What we have seen all industries and systems turn towards is machine learning. I always equate this back to our spam filter. Our email spam filter is effective at increasing our efficacy, catching some of those bad actors. So we need to build that into our system. Absolutely, even if it doesn't execute, we have machine learning components that can come in play and say, hey, this is something that is not listed in our cloud reputation database. Yet, it still contains malicious code. This payload is not something that we trust, and we can scan and classify that file as a virus. Now, the reason I equate this to a spam filter is because of the machine learning. But it's important to understand that machine learning components are not foolproof. We know that spear phishing campaigns are the number one initial access technique that adversaries still use today. Why? Because they are beating those spam filters in that machine learning. So, for increasing our efficacy net, here by doing machine learning, we also need to build in another step and another plan. So, we've got signature prevention, we have machine learning. What we then want to be able to turn to is scripting prevention prior to allowing it to execute. So we have an example here, an alert. What we have built out is a native MC integration that empowers zero touch prevention. So in the case of solar winds and some of these more advanced breaches, what we were able to do is leverage our threat research team, push out preventions automatically to our customers with no end user interaction. We call this feature dynamic rule engine. Those interactions resulted in blocking of malicious scripts, and we can continue to do this so that you guys have essentially threat researchers on your team watching out for these adversarial threats to adapt and evolve and trying to be as proactive as possible in blocking those activities. So what I'm highlighting here is a block of this ryuk.ps1 file, which is recognized as a clustered application because it is a PowerShell script, so it is from Microsoft Windows, it is signed, etc. But because we have this zero touch prevention capability, we are able to assess that this will destroy data, right? Ransomware encryption, data encryption, encryption mining, and we don't want to allow this to execute. So you'll notice that this does not have a run symbol here. We have a policy applied 
and this is due to our advanced AMC scripting prevention that is empowered through our zero-touch prevention capabilities. But still we need an additional plan, more layers, the more we can increase our security posture. So beyond this, what we then need to be able to go in and assess is what happens if we do allow something to execute, where can we start to assess behavioral analytics? How does that look within my environment in my organization? And this is where we'll dive into the next layer that's involved or available with endpoint standard. So now we will see another alert. An alert we, where we see a win word. And if we look here in alert triage, what we are able to see is an we have a traditional spear fetching, so Outlook, launching with word, launching a malicious trickbot.docm. Okay, and we can see that this is recognized as a malware. And Turbon Black does shut down that process. But where behavioral indicators start to come into play is when we are starting to leverage something like a clustered binary to execute within our environment. What we can do is you can go in and one click quarantine this asset. Okay. So this will isolate it from the network, cutting all TCP and UDP traffic and maintaining a touch point through our backend to ensure communication can still continue. We have the capability to one click remove this file. Delete application. We can delete the file on this device or on all devices. We can also search for this file in virus total. So we know from all antivirus on the market if it is known as a virus or not. But what we also have is this go live capability. It enables faster time to resolution. No more shipping laptops overnight to IT re image. We can start to perform remediation action. So what you can do is we can go in and delete specific files. We can kill active and open processes. We can also get files of that endpoint if I wanted to review something for further analysis or use the powerful exec FG, so exec in foreground, to actually start running and executing and pulling back information that would not otherwise be possible uh, with some of these simple commands here. So, exec fg ip config. So, here I will get the IP configuration of the device. And it will pull back that information, IPv4 address, for example, here. You could even run exec fg uh, with some PowerShell command. So, for example, PowerShell. Yes, version table to know the version of PowerShell that this endpoint is running. So, as you can see, it is very powerful in this remote world. Yes, that's it. In the case of an event or breach, you can quarantine your device, you can clean up that activity, and you can get them back online without having to take additional steps. Now we talked about the layers of prevention, right? We have signatures, machine learning, zero touch prevention, scripting prevention. We have advanced behavioral touch points. We also have ransomware canary files. So these are files that are stored locally. So that if anyone modifies, encrypts, or deletes those files, we can track and kill those processes as well. So multiple layers of protection to ensure that you are in your best security posture. Now this security posture and these events are populated through what we call policies. We have, by default, we have some templates. We have monitored, standard, and advanced. All three of these are configured based on our best practices, based on what we know to be true or malicious within your organization. So these rule sets are defined by our threat research team designed to have high confidence when implementing into an environment. Advanced. Advanced is more from 
uh, hardening perspective, so there may be some tuning involved. Once this is up and running, what you can start to do is to extend beyond just blocking known bad, right? We can see all these different indicators. If you have something in our environment that does not otherwise have a reputation, we can block those actions from occurring based on certain behavior. But let's say that we wanted to take this beyond just blocking non-bad based on our guide security goals and level of maturity. If you're looking to move beyond blocking in bad and leveraging our multiple layers of prevention, we can start to use these policies to start reducing your attack surface. The application that I always go back to is PowerShell, just solely because it is something that adversaries are known to manipulate. Now, PowerShell itself is not bad for all administrators to leverage. Also, we could absolutely start to block PowerShell entirely from running. Or just here. But perhaps what we want to do is assessing by policy which user should be allowed to use PowerShell to communicate over the network. The benefit here is that we want to implement with a high degree of confidence. So you need to know what kind of impact will that have on my organization. This is something that we are going to experience false positives by clicking in our test rule capability. This will query back across 30 days minimum of data retention. So as you can see, it can assess across your organization as well as for the device in this particular policy. How many blocks will this result in. Now it's important to note that we could have thousands of devices installed in this particular organization. Only seven devices in the entire organization are using PowerShell to communicate over the network. By clicking in on this one query string here, we will be brought to our enriched events page to search back across a month of data. Available. Then what we could do is we could say what kind of network communication is actually associated with it. So what we are able to see very quickly is that all devices are trying to connect to GitHub. GitHub, 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 everything is GitHub everywhere. So for sure it was an attack trying to download something like Mimikatz and for sure we, we can block the PowerShell access to network. That concludes our introductory overview of how endpoint standard sees more and stop more attacks. For more information on how Carbon Black can deliver future ready protection and faster time to resolution for your organization, reach out to your Carbon Black representative. Thank you.